this is my second rig. This is the HEQ5. I'm going to be setting this up with the Ascar 400. So I shall have to power align this one. Right, so before we put the scope on, very important to get the weights on. This is the Ascar 400. And I wouldn't be lying if I said the scope hasn't been out for at least two months. That's how long it's been. We've had some pretty rubbish weather really. I've only been able to grab a few hours using the rig and the observed thing. So I'm just going to plug in the Jaguar battery from the power supply and that rig is ready. Uh, this rig is the SCAR 400. There we go. SCAR FRA 400, F5.68 bow. It's a quintuplet astrograph. It's got four elements of glass in there. It's got a built-in field flattener and we don't have to worry about back focus, which is a nice touch. It's got a 360 rotator, which is another nice touch. Anyway, the camera is the 2600 MC Pro. And my filter drawer with, what's it got in there? The Alex Dream, which is a dual narrow band, seven nanometer, Builder. Um, we've got the Pegasus power box. This is the ASI Air. That's the Pro in there. The plus is on the rig in the observatory. Um, another focuser, ZWO electronic focuser. This is the little mini guide scope, the 30mm F4, and this is the 120 mini, but the USB 3 version. That's all set on the HEQ5. And these are the two inch EQ6R Pro legs with an adapter, which are much better legs. So, oh, and there's the, there's the eye power for this rig. Now this will be powered by the Jaggery Explorer 500 battery and that will run this rig all night. Right, so I'm just going to get that all plugged in. As soon as it's dark enough, I will power a line. And fingers crossed it will stay clear and I will get both of these rigs hopefully running all night long. That's the plan. Mind you, I've had this plan before and it hasn't always worked. But fingers crossed tonight will be better. is the best place to be. So it's not quite dark enough yet. It's time to grab a coffee and then I'll be ready to get set up and hopefully get started. So the targets for tonight. I'm going to go into Stellarium and I'll show you what I'm after. Okay, so on the SCAR 400, I'm going for this part of the SADAR region. And the way I've got it framed up, I can, if I frame it this way, I can get the cooling tower, the inchworm cluster, and all this nice nebulosity here in the SADAR region, all in the same frame. I was hoping to get a present nebula as well, but I can't quite fit that in. So I'm gonna to have to settle for this framing right here. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with the Ascar 400. And on the observatory rig, the Esprit, 
I'm going for this. This is a 10 minute sub of HA. Dark nebula area from the um, elephant's trunk. Although the elephant's trunk is not in the image. It's just off to the side. So much dust on his chairs. Yeah, the combines are cut in the corner in the fields behind and the air was filled with dust which was a little bit of a worry because i've got a rig out and i'm going to be opening the roof anytime soon so hopefully the dust will go very quickly So we have another clear sky, which makes a change. Anyway, got the rig set up. It's just completed the focus routine. So it makes such a nice change just to sit here and look up at the sky and see the stars. It's such good seeing tonight, there's no moon. And we've got uh, astronomical darkness back now. And it is really dark which is very nice i'm in a bottle four which helps very little light pollution i'm supposed to be indoors watching the telly but this is this is better than telly this is fantastic So this is the area of the elephant's trunk nebula that I decided to image and I decided not to put the elephant's trunk in the frame at all so I zoomed in on this area of nebulosity and you'll see the orientation that I decided on which is this and uh, hopefully this will make an interesting picture. So I really hope you like the images and thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to all of my subscribers and of course, as always, I wish you all clear skies.